Well, we'll take this one first, and it absolutely feels fantastic, to be honest with you. Like, I'm sure you're probably tired of hearing me saying it, like, but there, there were times during the course of the year where you know we were really under the cosh, and in some matches, the games could have gone against us, and um, in the round robin in Munster, you know, there was a huge challenge brought our way, and you know we kept battling away. Um, we found a way to win those games, or to get a draw, or you know, to get something out of them. And once I think we got out of Munster, it gave us that opportunity then to go back and do a little bit of work, get a bit of freshness into us. And I think we got stronger from all those games really as we went on. And once we got our breather after the Munster Championship, we were able to push on from there. What was it like getting Lee McCarthy up there and now with the games a bit of a dance? <laughs> I did. It was. I uh, listen, you know. I really wanted this for the lads. I really, really wanted this for the lads because they have been an incredible bunch. They work so hard together. There's never, ever a night of training where these boys don't deliver everything that they have in the tank. And I just felt I wanted this for them. I really, really wanted them to achieve this one. And you never know when you're going to get the chances again. You never get a chance like that anyway, for certain. But I think Kilkenny then brought a huge challenge was that first 25 minutes. Their intensity levels were through the roof. Uh, everywhere we had the ball, there was three of them tackling us, four of them tackling us. We turned over ball. They created scoring chances. They took the scoring chances. You know, they got a great goal. The first goal in the first half was really well taken. So we were struggling on their puck out. We were struggling on our puck out. I could go on. Like, it wasn't a pretty picture at that stage. They were one nine to six points up. There was a six point gap, and you know with a breeze at their back, you know they could easily have gone another couple of scores up. But we managed to respond at that stage in many different ways. Our intensity went up ourselves. We were getting to the tackle. We were making proper tackles. We were getting numbers to the ball. You know we had two, three, and four guys there. We were beginning to turn them over, uh, and we were efficient. Is what I would say in that last ten minutes. What chances we got, we converted. Uh, down through the middle, we carried the ball really well, we linked the ball really well. They were the pieces we were struggling with in the first 20 minutes and we were getting turned over, turned over in that area and of course when you get turned over in the middle, it's a score straight away. But it, we were retaining that ball, Keane was linking it, David Reedy was linking it, Tom Morris was linking it, Garrod was linking it, you know, Dara Donovan was linking it and Peter Casey came and linked it and we got great scores there and we managed to close the gap to two then just before half time and with the breeze that was there, you know, that was a solid performance if it was ropey for the first 25 or so minutes of it. And we regrouped at half time, Paul did a super job in reorganising the lads. And I think, you know, th themselves even when I spoke to them initially, their feedback was very honest and very much on, on the point. They knew exactly where they were struggling. They knew exactly what they needed to do. And, you know, we've been very strong third quarter all year. Really, really strong. And uh, today was a day we absolutely needed to be strong and I think the first two plays we created two scoring chances We didn't score them, but it was an indicator for what was to come and once we got Started to get the ball ticking over the bar, you know, we got a good rhythm going we got into flow They got a great goal again and we responded really well at that stage as well They got the next point, but we got the next I think four after that so um, that was a really, really important piece as well. But once we got our noses in front and the lads came off the bench, I think we saw out the game very, very well. When did you know that Declan Hannan was there? Um, it was probably, what, let me see, last Saturday, I'd say. Yeah, last Saturday. Obviously, you told the team then to start his first Yeah, we, we told the team then, yeah. And, yeah, that's the way it is. You know, we had Richie as well, with Jimmy Quilty, you know, yeah. two ACLs as well. So, mm -hmm. you know, we had a bit of a difficult weekend last weekend. It was, it was, uh, it was very disappointing for the lads. You know, um, they've given a huge amount to the group, and their defenders, and they're all defenders. Like we were down five defenders coming into today's game. So, uh, that's a huge chunk of your panel to be missing in that department. So, um, it's not credit to the lads the way they responded. Yeah. Yeah, I'm delighted for Keane, you know, to fill Declan Hannan's shoes is no mean feat, you know, and I thought Keane has been a, a really great vice-captain 
uh, with Declan, if you like. The two of them work extremely well together, off the pitch and on the pitch. Uh, but off the pitch, as captains, they do an awful lot of work behind the scenes. Um, they really do look after the group. They're very much in tune with the group. They're really, really you know, on point. You know, if you need to find out what's going on in the group, they're the two boys that you will get the, you know, the information from. But it's uh, still difficult for Keane coming out of the season that he's had, you know, not being able to be involved for much of the season because of injury and trying to get him right and himself struggling with that and finding it difficult. And then to play in the semi-final was a huge piece for him. Having the four weeks to come into it and get ready for it was massive for him. And I think he just stepped up, you know. Keane just stepped up. And even on the train this morning coming up, the way he was getting around to all the tables on the train and meeting all the lads, he just led it and he was very comfortable in leading it. And that's a really special piece for us to have at our disposal, you know, when Declan was out. So I'm thrilled for Keane. Um, I was so, so thrilled to see him lift the Lee McCarthy Cup. That was, I think, uh, he's a really phenomenal player. He's a great leader, and I was so thrilled to see him up there and to see Declan up there with him as well, you know. It just John, was good. Um, listen, it, it was it was a phenomenal second half. There's no two ways about it. I think we dominated apart from the goal. You know, the goal was probably against the run of play, but it was still a good goal, and it it brought the game back in and closed it again, and it made it difficult for us. You know, so but the response was good. Even if we didn't get the next score, you know, it was still good. Just immediately after that, um, we've had a really strong third quarter, as I said all season, and it's amazing the way you take confidence from that, and. You know, we deliberately pay, played into the hill today to take on that breeze in the first half. Uh, we wanted to face that onslaught. We wanted to absorb it. We wanted to feel it. We wanted to fight it and take it on. And it was difficult. It was very difficult. But the prize was, you know, to be able to take on those shots in the second half. You know, there were some incredible scores taken. And even with the breeze, even with the distance, they were still fantastic scores, you know, that the lads picked off, um, you know, Peter Casey. Do you think winning the, winning the toss is making that decision so was crucial? <sighs> Listen, it, I don't know what it would have turned out like otherwise, I, I, don't, I can't say, but it was the way we wanted it to be. Listen, we've done it. We've done it a good few times, and you know, we've good reference points where we've had to face similar situations, and we're just comfortable in that space. The lads are comfortable in that space, so you know, that's yeah, yeah. There's nothing more that they're facing there than what they're facing the training, or at least there shouldn't be. Um, so they have to cope with it, and it took them a long time to learn how to cope with it, but they got there eventually. John, was it funny moment there again? Yeah, I knew. I knew if we we had that opportunity, that that was what's, what was going to happen. I didn't even have to ask. You know that's going to happen. Of course it is. Yeah, that's. If Keane could have had the 36 players, seven players up there, he would have had him up there. That's the way Keane is. But yeah, it was a nice moment. I'm disappointed for Declan, obviously. You know. Uh, oh, come on, Matt. <laughs> Matt, come on. Enjoy this one now, Matt. Come on, will you? For God's sake. Um, you, you referenced earlier the, the battle you had to get out of Munster. When you consider all those games and then like, people were fighting against all the six down here today, it seems like a Listen, I, I would hope that our body language at the end would, would tell you how much we were thrilled with the, with the, with the results, you know. And 
we really do put a lot of effort into trying to live in the here and now. And if you don't in sport, you'll, you'll take your eye off the ball. So we haven't really had any engagement in reflection. And we've had too much on our plate, quite frankly, all along to deal with. You know, last, like, take last Saturday, for example. You know, you get two crucial in, ligament injuries and your, your captain is definitely ruled out on top of what you had already. You know, like, that's, you don't get ahead of yourself in those circumstances. You just try to drive forward. You try to depend on your values that you have as a group, your work ethic, your honesty, your trust, you know, uh, the t togetherness that's there as a group that, that has been referenced. Those are the things you, you, you go to. You don't go to looking at the record that's gone ahead of you or what you've achieved or anybody else's. You just concentrate on that and you rely on that as a foundation that you can go at this thing from. Well, we were, they, were, they, were, uh, they were diagnosed what, on the, uh, I think it was actually, jeez, my head didn't go on right, but it was either Tuesday or Saturday. I think it was, I think it was the Tuesday. I think it was Tuesday. Just Tuesday, that's the previous? Previous Tuesday. Was that Richie? Richie English, yeah, and Jimmy Quilty, yeah. And? Jimmy Quilty. Right. Yeah. So on top of everything else you've had from the team? Yeah. John, you had your head in your hands just before Deegan's goal. It, it, it's almost as if you felt something was going to happen. Whose goal? Deegan's goal, Paddy Deegan's goal. Oh, yeah. Oh, sure. I could see what was happening. I could see it. I was behind it. I could see it. I knew what was going to happen. And the ground was so solid today. You know, all credit to the groundsman. The pitch was solid. Like, it was, it was, there was a bounce off the ground. But with the wet surface, the keepers had no chance when the ball went low today. You just couldn't because the ball was actually accelerating out of the bounce into the net. So once he got it, I knew if he hit it low, it was, you know, curtains. So. Yeah, it's a, a sweet feeling. Um, I suppose it hasn't really fully sunk in yet. Um, I suppose when we look back in our career, once we finish up, I think that's when it will really look back in your. You're up there, one of the greatest teams that's ever played the game, and that Kenny teams in the in the in the 2000s. Um, but look, we, we kind of we, we every year we come into to play a new year, a new All Ireland Championship, Monster Championship. We just think of the next game, you know. Every game we want to win, we want to get improved, we want to get better as a team. We've, like Kino said in his speech, there, it's it's not just a group, it's not just a team, it's a family. Um, I don't know, it sounds a bit cliche, but that's exactly what it is. Like you know, we've uh, we've phenomenal men in that dressing room and women as well. Um, and look, it's, it's just an incredible feeling, yeah. Yeah, it was such a battle out there. Talk to us a little bit about the intensity. <clears throat> yeah, intensity was through the roof. Um, but we knew that coming into the game. Kenny are a phenomenal team. Um, we've had some tremendous battles with them over the years, going back right back into our, our early career, like, you know. Um, and we knew we were coming today, like, those guys are, are phenomenal hurlers. And I think it, they don't get the credit that they deserve. They're an unbelievable team. Um, but, like, look, it, it, it was a fantastic game, I suppose, for anyone watching, you know. There was. Kenny were ahead, we came back, Kenny were ahead, you know, it's, it's that type of game, so uh, no, it was, it was a really high intensity game, yeah. When you were three points down at half time, how does that feel? Do you feel the pressure at all? Do you keep coming back in the second half? You did it in the semi-final as well, having probably the best part of the game, but you did in the second half, time and time again. Yeah, look, we're, we're cool, calm and collected, like, you know, we're, we're a very composed team. Um, look, we, I suppose we weren't, we didn't really get into much of a flow in the first half. But uh, I know I know the, the men that were on the field with, with us there today and the boys coming off the bench and I know what we can do with those guys. You could see it there in the second half, there were scores going over from everywhere. Um, once we get into that flow, into that rhythm, I, it, it takes some team to stop us. Alright, uh, Paddy Hill gets a goal, you're five points down. The next 12 minutes, you beat them, you score 10 points to one. Is that period, like, does that rank as, as good as we've ever seen in the yeah, look, I suppose that was a real kick up, to, you know what I mean? Um, we really had to get going then, like, you know, you look up the scoreboard, you're six point, five or six points down. Okay, lads, come on, we got to tune in. We got the first two scores in, in, in the second half. They get a goal, real momentum killer. But we know, like, like I said, the boys in that dressing room, we all stand up. We're, we're just so many leaders on the field, so many leaders coming off the bench. It's just, fellas stand up and we're well able to do it. It'll be a different man every day. We go out to play. Um, and then everyone just rolls in behind him, you know, that's the way we are. Harry, going up to the half time against Galway, you got on top of the game. 
people were going to buy back to three years ago. I saw that as a crucial time of the year, and I think they went in uh, kind of boiled by that. Yeah, look, you're talking about Keane Lynch there, you know. I think he's going to go down as one of the greatest hurlers to ever play the game, you know, if not already. Um, they don't call him the nickname the magician for, for nothing, like, you know. He's, he's a phenomenal leader for our group. You know, when Declan went down with the injury, Keane really stood up. He took the charge, he took the leadership. He took that leadership role in that Galway game. You know, he's just, he's an incredible man and uh, I can't say enough about him. Well, what you guys achieved for him, I think it's phenomenal. <coughs> and I think you deserve enormous credit for it and you're up there with probably the best team now. But in terms of winning today, I mean, the second time against Kilkenny, what does that mean for you as a hurler? Because you can see Kilkenny, the picture of the year would be with Kilkenny winning their heyday, who would write all these Yeah, I suppose, look, we looked up to a lot of those Kilkenny hurlers growing up. They would have been the guys at the top at the time. Um, yeah, look, I suppose, like I said, it hasn't really sunk in that we we're kind of getting to that level, I suppose. But look, to be Kilkenny any day of the week is a phenomenal achievement. Like I said, the tradition in that county, the hurlers that they have, um, it's just, yeah, it's a great achievement. And to be down Sean Finn as a and two leaders in the road right, yeah. don't know, they're two. It says a lot of credit for the rest of you, but you're still up to the class. If you don't leave the ship, I can tell you that's a lot of questions. Yes, we didn't want to be ahead of half time. But last 25 minutes, I can say this, but probably one of the best I've ever seen for any team in the Ireland final. But that's a nice way to, uh, to win 2023. Yeah, no, look, being down those two guys, there's plenty more lads that we missed out as well, like, but those two guys are phenomenal leaders in our group. You know, Declan Hannon, one of the most, one of the greatest hurlers again to ever play. Shawnee Finn, probably the best cornerback to ever play it, in my opinion. He's unbelievable. But the leadership role that they took up while they went down was incredible. Behind the scenes, nobody sees it, but we see it and we feel it. You know, so to have those guys in our dressing room, in the back room, in the background is just, it, it helps us big time, you know. John just knew we needed to get going, you know. Paul was the same. We, we all knew it. We knew we just needed to get into our flow, like I said earlier. We need to just get into our rhythm. Once we got into our rhythm, we could get the game into our hands and we can control the pace of the game and, 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 and drive on from there. What is it about John Kiley? We saw that Keenan just said he's your leader. You could see when he lifted the cup up there and holding stand. He was jumping around with it. It means a lot to him. Yeah, there's a mad side to John as well. Like, you know, he's, uh, no, he's a phenomenal man. He's a... Uh, Look, I, I don't even know if I can put into words the type of the man he is. He's uh, incredible. He's, um, he's just, I don't even know how to describe him. Uh, he's just a, a great man and a, a phenomenal leader. How bad was the For? For you? Ah, it's just belt and knee, I'll be all right. I don't fear me. <clears throat> was it a 65? See, I just to be honest, I haven't a clue. <laughs> I was just getting back into my position straight away when I saw it was a white ball. <laughs> I'm going to answer, Derek, because uh, it is a fighting finish and probably nine pounds for a bit harsh. Probably I thought we were well in the game. I said, you know, probably midway through the second half, I think, you know, they got that run, they got magnificent scores and I think you you tie down one player, another player turns up. So all the time, you know, they're they have quality all over the pitch, they have quality coming off. More than ourselves, but um, I think probably we had we had chances. We needed to be really clinical today, really clinical, and we probably weren't efficient enough with some of the chances that we got. They were, they, you know, they got some fantastic scores in the second half, and I felt maybe a few to fifty-fifty calls. I thought probably went Limerick's way, and we needed them. We needed everything. Um, and we needed maybe you know one of those frees maybe around that period just to stem the tide but when they get a run in you very very difficult to, to stop it but I can't fault uh, our players I thought they were you know they never gave up kept trying kept working the lads that came on tried um, you know we were trying to get a goal you know obviously trying to work a goal near the end and they picked off a few scores and makes the scoreboard it's not as flattering to look at but um, I can't fault the effort from everybody and you didn't the ball in the second half, but you did put Kenny in a decent position. Yeah. But ironically, it was Limerick that reacted really better to that score. So it does say a lot for the character in that Limerick team, but we have to acknowledge that. Oh, absolutely. Look, they're a fantastic team. They have quality everywhere. They have a really good setup. And, like, they don't, they will always come at you. And I was expecting that to happen. Um, but it was just about, you know, maybe one or two scores around that, around that time just to stop the momentum. But. Very, very easy to say that. We just found that difficult. But overall, I mean, there was character shown by Kenny, but at the end of the day, 
and we need to get that ball in the second. Maybe if we had to keep hopping over the plank, it might get a little bit difficult. Did we try to engineer balls a little bit too early in the game? I, I would agree, yeah, it's all the times just pop the ball over because, you know, there wasn't, you know, at that stage maybe there was six or seven in it and maybe one or two scores and, you know, like, a bit like last year, things could have gotten a little bit nervy as well. But look, I, I again, can't fault the players. They felt the chance was there and, you know, I've been, you know, I'm saying to them all year, go, go for it, you know, so, um, and that's what they tried to do. And that wasn't, that was Derek, it. Been pretty happy from that first half, you know, the intensity yeah, no, I was really happy and we needed that. Um, very hard to maintain it. Um, they're such a strong physical team and they keep coming at you. And, you know, you could see, visibly see some of our players just turn in the second half. We had to kind of rejig a few things around. Um, but again, like the effort, the effort was, was really good. And I don't think, I think nine points is harsh on us, to be honest. But um, look, it is what it is. Um, you know, our lads fronted up just wasn't good enough. He was outstanding. He's been outstanding all year. He's a fantastic player, and like, you know, he he emptied himself again. Uh, it was a brilliant battle, and look, at, he it's it's disappointing because when you're you know you're looking at all the the big players and where you need to win the battles, and you know I felt you won that, and that would have been that should have been a you know a big help for us to win. But you know, like I said to you, they have quality all over the pitch. They find pockets of space and they're able to score from distance and you know that win picked up obviously for the second half and they made really good use of it. Yeah, but why do you think it's a new kind of experience like to Tom Feeden and his first daughter and he was brilliant as well there? Yeah, he was really good, really good and that would stand to him and we'd have a lot of we've a lot of players maybe didn't see action today that have been really close to it as well and um, so look there's plenty you know there's um, Plenty of promise there for that squad of players, and uh, we just have to keep driving forward. That's all we can do now. It doesn't feel like it right now, but you know, when the dust settles, um, you know, that's what we'll be looking towards. Yeah, can you describe what it's like when they get a run and you like? Uh, like, I mean, it's not enjoyable anyway. It's, it's, it's. You know, you're, you're, try, you're trying to look at making a few changes, see can you, you know, stop, stop the momentum in some shape or fashion. And like, we've got a great bounce from our bench all year, and again. Like lads came on today, some some were forced really. We had a couple of injuries and a couple of bangs. Lads took heavy knocks as well, so um, it's difficult. It's difficult, but we just didn't do enough to maybe you know um, around that time just to get a score or two, maybe just to stop it. And yeah, that's what we fell down. A team feeds off that when they're on top, and they were scoring. They were scoring sideline. It wasn't like they were working intricate scores. Oh yeah. Yeah. So like that's that's so hard to combat. No, it is really hard to combat. I mean, like, and that's when the wind comes into play. You know, we 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 didn't win the toss, and like that can happen. And we got you know maybe the wind helped us get a few scores in the first half. But as the game goes on, when bodies tire and you're shooting from out the field, that's when it's you know you like to have it. And look, we didn't have it, and it that's no excuse by the way. We weren't good enough, um, but it would have helped. He was touching goal. Look, unfortunately, we gave him every opportunity. Um, he was actually really f feeling good. Um, it's one of those things where we just had to make a call with the medical team, and we've got it. We got plenty of advice, and he was just marginally. It would have been a small risk, and uh, small enough though, to to not you know not let him out in the pitch. Um, really hardened the fella. Um, but look, hopefully he'll have bigger days. But it was too much of a risk in the end. Yeah, he was there uh, because he has the physicality, he has youth, he has plenty of hurling. Um, but we had plenty of lads to come in as well. Connor did, you know, did very well. He went back, wing back. Obviously, he got a knock and he couldn't come out to the second half as well. So that was a bit of a blow as well. But look, it is what it is. And we've, you know, we had plenty of lads in the line to come on and they gave everything. But, you know, it's, they've had their own injuries. So it's no excuse anymore. Jeremy, do you think matching their physical intensity is, is the key? That's probably key for every match, to be honest. You have to have the intensity, you have to have the work rate around the pitch, but particularly against them, you know, you have to be, you have to be there on the breaking ball and winning. You know, that they're just so strong around that middle third. And um, I thought for a long time we made it a really good battle out there. And um, 
And like I said, that momentum then, they're just getting that flow and they get a bit of room and space. It's not as if we were cut open at all. Like, I mean, there was scores from out the field or outrageous scores, fantastic scores. Um, and sometimes, you know, there's nothing you can do about it. Ah uh, yeah, no, they've proven that. You know, they've they've proven that now in the four in a row, and they're you know they don't look like to me they're you know getting any weaker. Um, they've huge experience, and you know their age profile is pretty good. So look, they're going to take stopping again. There's no question about it. They're a fantastic team.